With over 300 comic book issues, an animated series, a movie, and a few video games, there's no doubt that Spawn is the most successful standalone character in comics. Throughout his career we have seen the birth of other incredible characters who have earned an outstanding place in the Spawn myth. From the beginning, Al Simmons has been the undisputed center of this world. For more than 30 years, he has faced all kinds of evil threats, from hell, to heaven itself, through God and Satan. Of course, that doesn't mean he's the only outstanding character in the saga. Spawn has always been synonymous with innovation for the comics industry. It is true that Todd McFarlane had several setbacks when devising the plot of the monster, but he has tried to redeem his mistakes and has adapted some classic superhero concepts to further enrich the myth of Al Simmons. Typically, the most popular superheroes tend to have a female counterpart or equivalent, which helps to see how the main hero's powers could work on another character. Superman has Supergirl, Batman has Batwoman, Spider-Man has Spider-Woman. It is almost a rule that every popular hero must have a female counterpart. For many years, Angela had the role of being Spawn's female counterpart and it actually worked quite well. Angela was an extremely popular character within Image Comics, but due to the legal fight for her rights, the character became the property of Marvel Comics. Since then, Al Simmons no longer has a well-defined female equivalent. Fortunately, this changed in Spawn No. 300 where we saw the birth of She-Spawn, who would serve as the protagonist's new female counterpart. Contrary to what they think, She-Spawn is not a recent character as such, as she has been present in the comics since Spawn No. 61. Here we meet her as an experienced assassin who has had several encounters with Al Simmons. As the numbers progressed, we learned about the origin of this peculiar character. As a child, Jessica burned her parents alive, which led to her being imprisoned in a psychiatric care facility. There, Jessica underwent brutal electroshock therapy sessions that did little to calm her violent impulses. Jessica learned to hide her violent impulses enough to be freed. When she was finally discharged, Jessica went on another killing spree. This time she was imprisoned and it was here that she met Jason Wynn, who was director of security for the United States. Under Wynn's command, Jessica excelled as an assassin and mercenary, leading missions that took her into battles in nearly every corner of the world. Ultimately, these exploits brought her into conflict with Al Simmons, better known as Spawn. After spending so many years dishing out ruthless bloodshed, Jessica found something of a kindred spirit in Carrie Ann, aka Nyx, an apprentice witch who used her spells to help others. Even though their lives were so different, they both became close friends and supported each other. It should be noted that Nyx also used to help Spawn from time to time. In fact, in Spawn number 139 we see how Al separates from his suit after being injured. At the same time, the soul of one of Carrie's friends was trapped in hell. To save her, she joins Simmons' suit becoming the first she spawn. Unfortunately, this first version of she spawn was not used again after this story. After a time without having a major participation in the comics, Jessica returned in Spawn number 300 where she went to look for Nyx in New York. To their surprise, the witch had died, but she left a message for Jessica. Checking behind a painting, the girl found a secret room filled with weapons, spellbooks, and magical artifacts. Upon reviewing them, he found a lot of information from Al Simmons along with a resurrection spell. She didn't really believe in magic, but Nyx told her many stories of incredible events. Desperate to save her friend, Jessica took one of the artifacts, placed it on Carrie's chest, and began reciting the spell from the book. However, instead of resurrecting her friend, Jessica began having visions of Al Simmons' life and various specters from hell began to join her. Jessica had failed to bring Nyx back to life, but she managed to obtain a suit similar to Al's, thus becoming the new she Spawn. As she Spawn, Jessica not only avenged Nyx's death, but also took leadership of the hellish superhero team known as the Scorched. Along with the likes of Gunslinger Spawn, Redeemer, and the Hulking Monolith, Jessica has done everything she can to stop the forces of Hell from harming the innocent. She Spawn's abilities are the same as those of the other Hell Spawns, that is, superhuman strength, endurance and speed, healing factor, 
in addition to her mastery with her weapons and combat experience making her extremely dangerous. Similar to how Ghost Rider does, she transfers a part of her power to her motorcycle, causing it to adopt greater speed and an appearance consistent with that of She-Spawn. Currently, She-Spawn is the leader and main character of the title The Scorched, where she has shown her abilities in the field by leading other powerful warriors. Although there is no confirmation that she will have a solo title soon, the truth is that she is earning a place as one of the best Spawn characters. For now, that's all for this video. We hope you liked it and if you want to know more about Chi Spawn, we recommend reading Spawn from 300 to 305, as well as the title of The Scorched. We are TCA and we will see you in the next video.